readings and salutations universe, this is Krita, and this is Omnifactory. Though it, it doesn't really look like Omnifactory right now. The only things that we see uh, visually right here is the paper walls and my cobalt armor. <laughs> um, now, speaking of the paper walls, I want to give a really quick update on how this building is going. Um, I think it's going really well. We have a few modifications, which I think are just lovely. We have glass adding to the 3D uh, hallway going all the way up. Um, we still don't go over there, or over there, or over there, but uh, we are able to come up here. I don't think this room is done. No, not done. Not done. Uh, is this room done? No. Nope, not, that's not done either. <laughs> Oh uh, boy, um, but now we can see down from the second floor. I don't think we've been up here um, Down to the middle floor uh, and the first floor floor like 1.5 and I'm really liking this effect It's really cool that I know that room's not done. This room is kind of just gonna be another cubby room um, probably with all sorts of storage in it and We can go up to the roof uh, if I don't get lost in my own building uh, we have a ladder right here. We can see where we come out and then how to get up. Uh, it, it got a little bit cramped. <laughs> so this is uh, how we walk. We even use the, the fence as part of the staircase. And here we go. Oh, the top. Now, we have a mega torch protecting everything. That's why no mobs are spawning. Um, but I, I think it's just lovely here. It, it's so lovely. And then we can just zoom off and get an amazing view of this thing oh isn't it lovely oh it's beautiful all right let's get back to progression haha -ha. and yeah the cows are still up there they're hilarious um let's see so where did we leave off we left off almost about to finish genesis all we need to do is make a crafting calculator some catalyzers and uh whatnot so let's see i think i made what we need for a crafting calculator is just some stone and ink sack and whatnot. Um, in a, a here, uh, how does this thing work? So we open this thing up, and then what? Welcome to the blah blah blah. Uh, use the two buttons on the upper right. New recipe. All right. Well, we'll we'll take a look at this when we start doing more complicated recipes. Uh, for now, it's just going to go in our chest right there, um, and that way it's a another quest complete. Um, excellent. And the fuel catalyzers, did I get the stuff together for that? I feel like I did. Um, we will need some of the conductive iron energy conduits. This is going to get energy from our dynamo, um, and that is RF. And we're going to need to find a way to turn it into uh, EU for Greg Tech, but I'm sure we'll be able to figure that out. Um, and it's another quest complete. Uh, the next part is I believe we want here we go fuel catalyzer one two boom these guys are gonna improve the fuel efficiency of our amazing dynamo which I think I put up here um, so if we put this here uh, let's give this a quick test I think it told me that I could uh, do it with uh, that stuff and oh I did make the uh, eight of these in total so seven more um, so I was planning on making it into a dense guy. Uh, if it's right next to it, oh, it does fill it up. And it's very fast. Uh, so I think we're good. How much energy would one of these guys make? It's hard to tell because this thing's already full. And it kept its energy, which is both nice and also terrible. Hmm. Well, I'm pretty sure that these fuel catalyzers will make it more efficient. More energy produced by fuel. Um, which is fantastic. I'm, I'm super excited about that. Uh, that will definitely help us moving forward. Uh, next thing, we need our electronic subcomponents, vacuum tubes, and resistors. So we have most of this stuff together, specifically the glass tubes. These guys, we have to use copper wire at the moment, unfortunately. Um, but we can make 10 of those, make sure that it registers those. Awesome. And what else do we make need for that? We need these fancy dancy little resistors. And for these, again, we have to use copper wire. It's not very efficient. Um, and I do need to make more of these because that is not sufficient in any way, shape, or form. 
Uh, definitely important though. So we're gonna save the recipe. And I'm, I bet, ooh, oh, we just unlocked more in Genesis. Dang it, I'm trying to kill this page. Um, let's see, and it, it already thinks that we have our first circuit, which is a little bit interesting. Um, drawer controller, controller? Can we actually make one of these right now? Oh, we can. I don't think I want to. That's a lot of stuff. Diamond or emerald and two circuits? No, no, no. Our circuits are going towards better things for the start. Um, we... Can I make uh, one of these guys? What am I missing? Uh, coded board. Do we have some of those? We do. Lovely. Toss that in there along with some wrought iron plates. Beautiful. Toss that back in there. And we should be able to get our first primitive circuit, which I think is so fantastic. Um, ah, a CEF. So that's what's going to take the power from the dynamo and be able to put it into our machines for this stuff. Until now, you've been generating RF power with steam dynamos, and I haven't even been using it. But our Gragtech machines require EU. Aha, CEF converts FE, which is sort of a whatever, other types of energy into Gregtech Energy Units, GTEUs. So what do we need for that? We need a CEF and it recommends, it doesn't really recommend anything specific. So I think it's this one it wants us to make. Is it just for or that? Okay. And it wants us to make 4X conductive iron cable. Which kind of makes sense. Yeah, okay. Um, let me get the things together. You've already seen how we make cables. Making the 4X ones is quite simple. You just put 2X together, 1X together. It's it's a little bit tedious, but that's okay. That's all right. We'll, we'll figure that out. All right, I think we have the necessary things for our conductive cables. Uh, we already have the wires, which are necessary for the CEF. Then we just need the components of it, which is a... LV machine casing, definitely saving that one. Uh, immediately followed by one of these fellows. Where's the tin cable? Oh, that's right. We need to wrap our tin cables. Uh, so I'm just going to toss in some rubber, replace that with that. Rubber sheets, boom, boom. Um, that doesn't need to be saved, but what does need to be saved? Well, it's that make these. Tin cables are going to be useful, I'm sure, because we're going to be making all sorts of things with them. Look at those things! Uh, but the primary one that we want is making the casing like so. Can we just make that? We need more raw iron. That's okay. Get one of those. Save that. Awesome. Uh, next up, we just need to do the same process for wrapping our cables, like so. Uh, these rubber sheets are going to come in crazy handy. I'm glad I was saving up a little bit of that. Uh, let's see. Over here, are we... Where, where are we saving you? Um, I'm going to take that off so that we can set this up. I feel like this is an important recipe. Is it, though? It might not be. It's not a super important recipe. What am I saying? I'm not saying anything. Ignore me. Uh, let's see, so some chests, toss that in there. Do we have everything? Nope, toss that in there. Do we have everything now? What are we missing? Honestly, that? Sweet! Um, now where did our wrapped cables go? We need those to be 4X. Unfortunately, we can't put the, uh, the, the rubber onto a 4X cable. Uh, that's kind of later down the line um, with an assembler. Uh, and there we go. C E F complete. Now we can start actually charging things, which I think is really exciting. Um, but I'm not. What? We're making. Unlike R F power, which is safe to transport, E U requires caution. Um, the key is to always match or exceed voltage and amperage. Never hook up your C E F to a cable that has fewer amps than your C E F. So these guys have four amps. This guy pushes out four. Um, I think it does anyway. Out for uh, pretty sure this pushes out four amps, um, and I can take in quite a reasonable amount of Fe, so it's very exciting. All right, let's see if we can get that figured out. All right, I think we can just hit accept on that. Might have already done that. Uh, and the next part 
is putting it all together. Pretty much what this is going to tell us to do is we want to either make a wire mill, which I'm definitely doing, or a compressor, which I'll probably do soon, but maybe not quite yet. Um, okay, we're going to make that. Um, the, the wire mill is going to make things so much more efficient. I think it's four times as efficient as doing it with hammers and wire cutters to get wires. Um, and then, cool, we'll just put that in there. Uh, sweet. Now the next part, we, I think we can finally move on from this page. Yes, we have a few quests that we need, still need to do, but we're going to go to the beginning. This is the beginning of our LV machines. Uh, and we have to start off by making some motors. Now, how would we make some motors? I think we need to make, um, oh, derp. We can just go to the wire mill and this is how we're going to make our motors. Uh, we don't have any magnetic iron rods yet. Uh, so we're going to need to give them some lovely magnetized stuff and stuff. Uh, and then where do we go from there? What was the necessary components um we might be able to just make that do we have copper wires anywhere do we need to make more ah i thought we were ready no there we go <laughs> uh we got some copper and uh we should be able to make the four electric motors definitely saving that one uh that should satisfy our quest bit right there Excellent, and now we can probably make a wire mill. Oh, excellent. Um, now, I think that uh, we're going to want our CEF. Uh, we're going to want some cables. Lovely. Um, voltage out. Yep, everything looks good. And we'll pick up these guys as well. Noink and noink. Um, and I think that we can finally take these machines over to our new place. Oh, home sweet home. Being able to finally enter this building with like the purpose of setting something up is so exciting. Uh, I think that we're going to have this be our first power room and uh, we're going to figure out a way to set this up. Uh, that makes my brain happy. Now. Uh, maybe not your brain happy, but definitely mine. <laughs> uh, we're going to yoink off that spot right there. And we see that there is a basement uh, under construction down below. Um, and this is going to have LV power flowing through it and four amperage, which means we should be able to have four machines hooked up uh, to it. At least that's how I understand it. We don't have any power going to it quite yet, uh, but we will. So. Uh, let's see if we can figure out a way to do that. Now, this is the new basement area. Uh, that's why some time has passed. Ooh, so fancy. Not really, it's just a concrete wall. Um, now, uh, let's see, do we just bring this cable down? Lovely. Um, and I guess, where where is this going? Does this go to a nice spot? Yeah, yeah, nice enough. Um, what we want is to have the CEF pushing power that way. I think that should work. And while it says that we could have the steam dynamo going straight to here, I think I want to use a conduit like so. Um, now, I think that should be able to push power into that. Uh, and how do we change you around? Because obviously that's pushing up and we need it to push to the side. Can you can you push this way, please? Oh, all right. So I shift clicked to make that happen. How about that way? Ha ha! Excellent. Now, why you no push? No push? Do we need a battery in you? Kitty seems to think that we need a battery. So get a battery, we will. A little bit of time later, we now have enough tin for these batteries. Ha <laughs> uh, ha. Um, tin cable, is it? Oh, it's a different type of cable that goes on top. How, how lovely is that? Uh, so we have at least two batteries. Now, the, there is a quest for this, specific, um, and it says that we need to fill it with something. So sodium works pretty good, cadmium is best, but I don't think we have access to cadmium yet. Uh, it suggests lithium, um, however, it's, it's very rare to find lithium, so uh, it suggests we buy it. Um, now, I would normally, kind of, oh wait, what was this? It's tough to get at this point, not even worth considering. Okay. Uh, this is very plentiful if we want to do sodium. Now, it does recommend that we buy it, so why not? Um, lithium or 
lovely. Uh, it takes two nickels for 32. That's, uh, that's not too bad. I feel like we have a lot of nickels, so might as well put it in. Um, there we go, some lithium ore, and can we just smelt this up? We can. Lovely, that's still smelting tin, so we'll put it in right here. And we should get plenty of that to put away. Um, now, we do need some more of this lovely stuff. We don't need that in here. I went mining for tin, that's why it's there. Um, so, Kitty, what is it? We already just let you out. Uh, now... I think what we want to do is just get a few more bits of cabling um, and obviously wrap it. Can we can, can we wrap it? Is that okay? Cool. Does it still allow us to make that? Sweet. All right, we have the, the that that we need. And if that would like to work, beautiful, there we go. Um, so that should be our quest complete, lovely, LV power storage. Now we just need to put some lithium in there. Um, we're going to click on that and that beautiful lithium and we're going to fill it just like so and now we have our small lithium batteries. Fantastic. And into the system we go. Uh, now, do we finally have some energy moving around? Why not? Why you why you no work? Huh? Whoa, that that's a weird. <laughs> this is a weird animation. Um. Hmm. Does it need to have water in it to function? What's wrong? <laughs> Power output zero. <laughs> what are we doing incorrect? Do, does it really really only want? A certain amount of power. Um, hmm. Maybe we need to move around the cabling. Maybe the it's on the incorrect stuff. So maybe that's the it goes in. Doesn't look like it because now it doesn't want to connect. Um, hmm. CEF. You convert right? Yeah. Converts FE to GT. Hmm. Oh, there we go. It just really wanted us to put a piece of fuel in there. Uh, so now it should be functioning properly. We're gonna put in a whole stack of that. And now it is outputting 40 RF per tick. And we have some charge in our lithium batteries. Ah, all right. Um, does that mean that I can move this to the spot I wanted it originally? Uh, that would be very nice. Let's see, like so. You power there, you get water, and we give it some stuff. Can we can we hook up a hopper to this? I would like to be able to have a hopper. Awesome! Um, and we'll see how quickly this takes stuff. I know that the the recommended system is that we give this, I think it's sugarcane, um, using like snad or something like that, but uh, I looked at that and it required some trickery with um, auto updates and whatnot I don't want to do that so we have we have charcoal we'll see if uh, that drives me crazy we do have to make up for that a smelting lumber axe and spruce trees so we'll see um, all right up to the system now that we should have some power uh, you sir should have power yep our uh, energy is at 1000 let's pop toss in some copper and see if we get woohoo copper cable um, which is the main thing that we need. Uh, we also need a lot of red alloy cable and other stuff, but this is our first machine and it's working properly. Now the question I have, uh, and we might want a shortcut down to our generator room, but this is okay, um, is does this consume more or less power than what we produce? It looks like it uses up more power than what we're producing with this singular steam dynamo. Uh, even with some fuel catalyzers, it's just not outputting what we need, but for right now, it will suffice. Uh, yeah, it, it's going down rather quickly. We are definitely going to need more steam dynamos. And this is now struggling. Uh, it's If it doesn't have enough power, it'll just keep failing and it loses its progress. So it goes up to 6% and then down to 3 um, 
and that's why we can't produce anything more. Now, uh, if we were to look downstairs, I think I'm just going to make a hole for right now um, so that we can learn a little bit more rapidly. This guy fills up and then it empties. This guy is just simply not producing enough power even though it is producing. Um, so the, the reason that this quest line, I think it had us make a soft hammer at some juncture. Yep, rubber soft hammer is I think we can right click on this and it now has working disabled which allows it to get more power up so it's now up to 1000 EU uh, and this guy should be charging once again lovely um, this allows us to sort of bypass the charging issue that we were experiencing there and we can always just right click on it again and it will presume working um, eventually it will run out of power again but it just took a moment and I think it might be fully operational and it shall well okay no big deal <laughs> uh, well it's working and we are getting more copper wire than we were before keeping in mind that before to make a uh, one plate it took ah, copper let's look at copper um, we were just making copper plates, which took two to one, and then these copper plates were getting cut using a wire, wire cutter, and that doesn't have a lot of durability um, to, well, that one does, but not the one we were using. Uh, that was a one to one. So effectively, it was a two to one ratio, and now, um, to make, using this wire mill, it's now a one to two ratio, which is four times as awesome. <laughs> Ah, that's so fantastic. Um, all right, well, uh, I think that's pretty official. We have some power generation. We have the electricity flowing, uh, albeit a little bit uh, not as wonderful as we would like it. Um, but I think in between episodes, I might make uh, another few steam dynamos to get this system functioning a lot better. Ah. All right, and then we'll give it tons of coal or something, and it'll be fantastic. It'll be amazing. We'll be happy. Um, we're going to toss in that. Right-click on it to make it visually functioning. Um, oh, we do need to fill in the floor. Ooh, ah! It's hard to do in that viewpoint. And, unfortunately, we're probably going to have to call it there. Um, this has been a wonderful episode of Omni Factory. I hope you've had a, a, a great time, and uh, I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye I just punched a torch, oh no! Hee <laughs> hee!